Hi students, so in class you learned about a chi-square test, which tests if a sample is similar or different from the population. If we were to take a sample, we would essentially just test if this a sample like this in red is similar to or different from the whole population. And then we practice that uh, using a couple of different examples and applying the formula in a very simplified way on Google Sheets. Now for the next assignment, a couple of days ago we asked you to answer this poll, how much sleep do you get? Now we're going to be applying the chi-square test to the data that we got. Now if you missed anything from this Excel, <coughs> when we did the two examples, I also walked through the chi-square test <coughs> in this video on YouTube which is also linked in the assignment. So for class today, we're going to go to IB Sleep Data, which is on Google Classroom. And the first sheet here at the bottom is a list of the raw data. So this is what class they're in, what grade they're in, their gender, whether or not they eat breakfast, the average amount of sleep they get on the weekday, and the average amount of sleep on the weekend. The next sheet is going to be the steps to complete this assignment. Now we've transitioned a little bit more to having a video and letting you do it at your own pace because of uh, the feedback that we've gotten that this helps students learn the material better. So to complete this assignment, you'll be watching this video uh, and you could be working in Teams or on your own. Under the steps sheet, which you just click this, you're gonna apply a chi-square test to the chi-square gender sheet here to the chi-square breakfast sheet here, and finally to the chi-square sleep sheet and answer the questions here. If you don't know how to do a chi-square test, you can watch the video or the steps are also on the steps sheet. So in order to get started, there's a little bit more uh, just to explain, give you context about this sheet and some tips for using this data. So the first sheet is chi-square gender, go ahead and navigate to that sheet, you can just click on it. And the research question here is, is the gender ratio in IB biology similar or not similar to the gender ratio of Snowden International High School? If you click on the link here, this is going to take you to Snowden's DOE enrollment page, and we'll be able to see the percentage of male and female enrollment at the school which is what we converted into a ratio here. So we are comparing um, the total gender ratio of the school, that would be our population, but we're looking at just the IB class, which is the results that we collected from uh, the sleep survey. So I put the raw data in column L right here and we need to be able to figure out in this data how many are females and how many males we have. So one way you can do this is, as you can see, I ordered it and you can just individually count, but that's a little bit tedious. So another thing you can do is use the function count if. So if you go to the cell, remember this is our observed and you go to the row female and you go to the column for the observed. You could do an equal sign, count if, and this function could come up, a conditional count across the range, enter or parentheses, and then it asks for the range, so I'll take the range here. Comma, and then it asks for the criterion, criterion. The criterion is just going to be what you're searching for. Since the row that we're trying to count for is the female row, we're going to put quote, double quote, capital F, and then spell out female. If we put a lowercase f in the beginning, it wouldn't count all of these words here. It has to be the like capitalization matters. End quote, parentheses. So then this searches this column and it looks for everywhere that it says female and we're able to see that this column 
that female occurs 35 times. Then we could do that for male. Count if. And we'll get the range. L2 to L57, comma. And then the criterion is quote, male, end quote. And we see here it's 18. Another way you can do this is you can copy the function from above, and this will automatically put it in the one below. So if we just copy the cell and put it here, and then we can just change it from being, we can change the function here to just male. It'll also give us a count, but sometimes that changes the range as well. You see how now it starts at L3 instead of starting at L2. So we need to make sure that we still have the correct range. So I'll just make this L2. Now, for the rest of this sheet, as you know, uh, according to the steps, you'll need to find the observed sample sizes, determine what your expected sample sizes are by taking the sum of your observed, multiplying it by the expected percentage, etc. You would find the sum of the observed, these are the percentages, and the rest you should be able to do, and if you have any questions, you can look at the model from the video or what we learned in class. Because uh, I believe halfway through, starting at three minutes, this is where this video can r walk you through all the steps that you'd need. For the next, then you would answer the following questions according to your results. Is the gender ratio in IB biology similar or not similar to the gender ratio of Snowden? This is where you would focus on what the p-value is and what it means. And then why is this important to know? And this is where you can brainstorm. It's a little bit more open-ended. Why is it important for somebody to know if the gender ratio is similar or not similar? So go ahead and stop this video if and go ahead and complete the chi-square gender sheet. And then once you've completed this, then you can play the video because I'm going to move on to Kai Square Breakfast. So go ahead and stop the video. Okay, great. So you're able to complete the Kai Square Gender. Now we're going to do the Kai Square Breakfast. And what this looked at is Food Navigator told us the percentage of Americans who eat breakfast. And they found that 34% of Americans eat breakfast every day. So we're gonna compare that to our IB biology class. Here's the percentage for those who eat breakfast and those who don't. And now we need to figure out, this is the raw data for breakfast, how many of these are no's and how many of these are yeses. Something you can do is you can sort the sheet in order to do this, you would essentially alphabetize the sheet so you have all the no's together and all the yes's together. You would highlight what you want to sort, go to data, sort range, and you would sort column L A to Z. And then you could have all the no's together and all the yes's together and you could just count those. Or we could use count if like we did before, count if, I would get the range that I want. And now the criterion is yes, because this is the yes row. And now we can see that we have 22 yeses. And here we could do the same thing. Our range is from L2, this is column L, row 2, down to L, this is column. 57, L57. And now we're looking at the no row so we can put the no. Then you would calculate the sum, find the expected based on the percentages, and the rest. You could do following the video that we have.
Now for the last sheet, it's a little bit more intensive. This is going to look at, do students at Snowden, before we start this sheet, make sure that you go ahead and complete chi-square breakfast. Perfect, now that you've completed chi-square breakfast, for the next sheet, chi-square for sleep, the research question is, do students at Snowden sleep as much as students in the US? So we went to this study by the CDC, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. And towards the end of this study, there is this interesting statistic among just compared middle school students. The overall distribution of the over the distribution of sleep duration was 5.9% for less than four hours. 6% of students got five hours, 11% got six hours, 20% got seven hours. 29.9 got 8 hours, 17.2% got 9 hours, and 10% got 10 hours or more. These percentages are here. So now, when you go to the sample, this should say 4 or less, and there should be another row for 10 or more. plus and this is nine you're going to do what we did with the sample you could either sort the range so that it's ordered you could just highlight everything go to data sort range sort and now everything is ordered from lowest to highest, and you could count. Or you can continue with count if. And if you want to look at the fours you could, or the fives, you could just do equals count if. And this is the range. Four. And this time you don't have to put the number in quotes. You could just type the number. I believe even if you put it in quotes, it should still work. Yeah, it still works. Um, I didn't include three in this, so make sure you, you add one. So if it says five, then this should be six, because there's one three. One person only gets three hours of sleep on average, so we want to add that. I hope that uh, this lesson helps as you complete this assignment either in teams or on your own. If you have any questions while you're in the breakout room or just in general, you can go ahead and ask for help on the bottom of Zoom or just uh, send us a message, send us an email because we want to help you be able to complete this assignment and understand how to apply chi-square. Thanks for watching.